So, how has athletics changed since the time yeah. when you were competing? Yeah. Well, there's, there's no doubt it's a different world, and uh, we are one of the traditional sports, Olympic sports. We had a meeting the other day with the Sports Commission, and there's about eight of us that uh, met, swimming, cycling, rowing, athletics. Um, we've got recreational act sport going on, uh, new sports like skateboarding and windsurfing and heavens knows all the other sports that have developed. Uh, a lot of young boys and girls, men and women, like to go out and do their uh, practice, have a run, have a cycle, have a swim, but they don't necessarily join a club and they're not, uh, not exposed to that wonderful opportunity for all the social interaction that happens in, 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 a, in a sporting club. And so that's been a very big change. And then the, uh, the television, obviously, internet, the not doing anything at all <coughs> is important. The question of obesity. Uh, there's a lot there that needs to be addressed, I believe, going forward. And athletics has got a very large part to play in all of that. But it, uh, we, do, we did cricket and footy in winter, summer, and we did some athletics when we could fit it in. This is at school. Uh, there weren't the, the options. There wasn't the travel, there wasn't the variety. Um, and uh, so, so many of us tended to meet at an athletics club or a football club or whatever in a suburban atmosphere. You talked earlier about the importance of unifying the sport <coughs> and at the moment yourself and uh, AAC CEO Dallas O'Brien are working really hard on the merger with Little Athletics. Yes. Um, why is the merger so important for the sport? Well, I think uh, we, we, we're going to fall behind. The perception out there is that uh, we're a disjointed sport. Rightly or wrongly, people look at athletics as uh, sort of two parts. Mm -hmm. And uh, we believe for sponsorship to begin with, it would be vastly better to sell athletics as one sport. Um, Little Athletics has done a marvellous job for 50 years. But they've, they've got about 100,000 kids doing Little Ats every year. Uh, other sports are, are producing much bigger numbers. And uh, so what's happening? And we'd like to work with uh, Little Athletics on the IAAF programs, which are more about athletics play, and the after, active after schools programs. We can, we can work as a team uh, if, we're, if we're together, if we're united together. And we'd be much more efficient. Um, Little Athletics has a national body, and it has eight, or it actually doesn't have one in Northern Territory, but it has seven member association boards. And we have a national board, an eight member association board. So it's a lot of boards. Uh, and if we could uh, even condense those to, uh, to half that, it would, we believe it would make it more efficient. But under what we're doing with the heads of agreement at the moment with Little Athletics, we've got to make sure that in the long run they're not swamped and that they have their rightful place in the future of, uh, of our sport. And, uh, and the transition from 12 to 14 year olds is very important between Little Aths and Senior Aths. And we've got joint uh, dual membership, as you know, that's working well. We've got a joint venture going on with Little Aths. All the initiatives that we're doing are good. We have to take a leap of faith for the next 50 years for our sport. Right where we're, I'm being interviewed now is the National Athletics Centre, which we didn't have two years ago. All of us are here, senior Aths, Little Aths, national, state, and a magnificent new facility here. It was, it's a shame in some ways to leave Olympic Park, but we've got a great deal here and it's a magnificent venue and I think for athletics it's got a great future. Sitting here today after yeah. eight years in the chair, what do you think will be your legacy as the President of Athletics Australia? Well I think the sport uh, is, is, is now, I'm not saying it's better run, but, it's, but it is being well run. Uh, I think the coordination with the member associations and, uh, and the uh, National Board of Athletics is, is, is much better. Uh, there's so many initiatives that are going on with our coaches and with our officials and with our athletes and with our teams. I just think we're vastly improved in many, many areas. But I think I've given steady, reliable leadership. Uh, we're certainly financially sound. Our, um, our goodwill uh, with the uh, Sports Commission and with the International Athletics Association, the Federation, um, whether it be the Commonwealth Games, whether it be the AOC, I think we're doing a good job with all of those people, communicating uh, very well, and I think that probably that will be uh, a valuable legacy that I've left. Also a very good board to continue the, uh, the sport. Uh, they're, they're a very passionate, skilled, and now experienced board. So I think I'm leaving quite a, a lot of, of good legacy. Um, definitely the, this, this uh, athletics house, I've spent a great deal of time working with three different governments on that. 
Uh, I've been working with Little Athletics for six years on uh, uh, helping uh, us come together. So that there's probably a few other initiatives there as well, but uh, there's some key ones that I can think of. And looking looking back again, do you have any regrets about things you, you didn't achieve in your time and, and what do you see as the biggest challenges facing the sport going forward? Um, I'd like to see 10,000 more kids from the age of uh, under 14 to under 20 doing participating in club athletics every week. I think that would be fantastic for our sport. Um, we don't have enough depth in a lot of our finals. We have some wonderfully outstanding athletes, but uh, we don't quite have the depth that we, we used to have. So I think that that's very, very important for the future. And you've re regularly represented Australia at meetings uh, of the members of the IAAF. Yes. How is Australian athletics viewed by the international track and field community? We're very well respected. Uh, we're one of the founding nations uh, after the Stockholm Olympics in 1912. We were one of 17 nations that uh, formed the uh, IAAF, or as it was called then, the International Association of or Amateur Athletics. But uh, now, of course, it's professional uh, or semi-professional. Um, so we're, we're, we've got a deep history with the IAAF. Um, I've personally spent a lot of time uh, nurturing and working with council members of the IAAF and uh, I believe that uh, people like Sebastian Coe, Lord Sebastian Coe and Lamine Diak, the current president and many others are very pro-Australia and respect us as a, as a sporting nation in athletics. We, we normally come in around 10 to 12th in, uh, at the Olympic Games or the World Championships in terms of uh, uh, medal tally or top eight tally um, out of 212 member federations. So we're, we're highly regarded and uh, I think they understand that we're a relative, well, we are a relatively small population, but um, we, uh, we do need uh, to, uh, to, I don't want to be calling out for more money, but we need to get better organised with the money we have, commercialise our sport more and work more closely with the uh, federal government. I think the initiative from the Abbott government to have health and sport together is very important. We've just got to make sure that sport in general, and athletics in particular, uh, gets its fair share of support. What advice would you have for whoever succeeds you as president? Um, well, David Grace will, will be replacing me. He's been appointed by the board. And uh, David's a QC, very experienced in uh, in sport and has had six years on the board. Oh, David will work steady as we go and I'm sure address the issues as they come to hand. Um, there's always controversy around selections at Olympic Games and so on and we haven't been without that during my tenure. But uh, I feel that the uh, David's leadership with the experience and the understanding of our sport from the board, that they'll do a very good job. Um, should a hedge of agreement occur between Little Athletics There'll be a 12 month period where we will uh, assess uh, the pros and cons of actually merging and then all the 850 clubs and centres from Maths Australia and Little Athletics Australia around the country will, uh, will have an opportunity to understand all the, uh, all the issues and, and to vote. Um, and then should uh, that occur, then in 2015 there'll be a, a new board elected and uh, so the Little Athletics Australia Board, the Athletics Australia Board would be, uh, would be up for election with a certain number from each section of the sport uh, elected. And you might not be stepping down as president but, or finishing your role as president, but will you continue your involvement with uh, athletics um, even after your presidency? Well, I believe that we, I don't want to get in the hair of the, uh, uh, of the new president or, or the, the board, but uh, I will be on, the, uh, on this uh, strategic board should. Uh, the heads of agreement be signed. That's a, that, that board will work for 12 months in the interest of for bringing the sport together. Should the uh, the member uh, clubs decide that that's the best course of action after a, a continuing exhaustive progress, um, I probably will do something uh, in, in in working in general generally in sport with the sports commission. But I'm not sure about that just yet. So you'll you'll have athletics in your heart till you die. Oh, absolutely. Basically. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, pleasure.